Welcome to the Hired Not Fired podcast, brought to you by The Real Me, the soft skills first talent solution that helps employers hire entry level employees with better developed soft skills, such as communication, problem solving, or emotional intelligence. Join us as we sit down with hiring managers, talent leaders, and others and get insider tips to help Gen Z stand out and get hired. Let's dive in. Hi there. Welcome to Hired Not Fired. I'm Dr. Deb Samuels Peretz from The Real Me, and I am excited to welcome our guest this week. We have Jenny Hoffler from LabCorp. Jenny spent 14 plus years championing early career talent. A North Carolina native, she's passionate about all things early talent and encouraging others as they navigate their own career journeys. She considers herself a traveling, photo-taking, shoe-loving, LinkedIn-posting, energy-sharing talent advocate. That's a wonderful title. (laughs) She's currently the head of Early Talent and Partnership Initiatives at LabCorp, and she's here to give you the insider scoop. I know you're going to learn a lot and love it. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here and thankful that you reached out. Um, so we could talk about all my favorite topics. <laughs> Wonderful. I want to start off, first of all, with LabCorp. Tell us a little bit about what do you sell? What service do you provide? Absolutely. So LabCorp is a global leader of innovative and comprehensive laboratory services. So we help doctors, hospitals, pharmaceutical companies, researchers, and patients. So we we touch it everywhere. Um, We have about 70,000 employees globally. Um, We serve clients in 100 countries. Yes, some people don't realize that because we're actually headquartered here out of North Carolina, which me, the North Carolina native, it makes me very happy to know that our (laughs) Our global headquarters <laughs> is here. <laughs> yes. um, but yeah, we perform over 700 million tests for patients around the world. And one of my favorite little tidbits is that we actually have an airplane hangar, which holds multiple, multiple lab core airplanes that are flying all over to bring in samples um, so that we can conduct more tests and sampling. Uh, We have couriers that are driving all over the United States, um, bringing in samples for us to test to help people get their results as soon as possible. That's amazing. You're saying you actually have your own fleet of planes and I guess you hire pilots then as well as early career candidates. (laughs) We have an entire aviation team who are fantastic. The interns this summer actually got to do a a tour of the airplane hangar, learn all about the control center, what they're doing, how important it is to know what's going on, you know, of course, with the weather and if there's issues that are affecting flights and if we need to have a courier drive to get those samples if a plane can't then fly them just to make sure that our our clients are well taken care of yeah wow that that that's exciting that that's a first for me (laughs) so do you so some of your do you ever have early career positions that relate to that like obviously not a pilot but maybe supporting the aviation wing Yeah, you do have to have a number of hours of flight experience in order to be able to be in that space. Um, So we haven't had any interns per se to serve in our aviation department. Mm -hmm. However, they are always looking for really strong and talented pilots or those who might be looking for more of a work-life balance, which Mm -hmm. you're able to have in kind of a corporate flight setting. Um, some of the other aviation type of roles aren't as conducive to that work-life balance as maybe ours are. Well, that that that's amazing. All right. What about, uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what it's like in the industry of, uh, you know, lab tests. I think you gave us a little clue that uh, immediacy seems to be an important thing. You need to get those lab the samples in and out quickly. Uh, what's it like at the, for early career um, employees working in that industry? Sure. Um, so I'll speak to roles that are within our, our internship and early talent hiring, but in addition, I will say that we have about 15,000 phlebotomists working for us. So if you go to a patient service center, which is like, maybe you walk into a Walgreens, like I have down the street and there is a lab core there that I went to last week. 
who just took, you know, my blood and I the next day had my results. Um, so in those patient service centers, we do have over 15,000 phlebotomists that we've hired, particularly in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And our couriers are the ones that are driving to different doctor's offices and, and hospitals and other locations, healthcare centers. We have about 22 million courier stops that we are doing every year. So we stay extremely busy and we hire talent um, from all different backgrounds who um, have a variety of different skill sets, but a passion for improving health and improving lives, which is mm -hmm. kind of at the crux and core of LabCorp. Um, in regards to some of the internship and early talent roles that we have, which my team is responsible for, um, we have a global internship program. We're hiring over 300 interns every year. Mm -hmm. um, in some locations like the UK, the internship is actually an entire 12 months as well as wow. in Bulgaria. So it's a full year. Um, whereas in our China, Singapore, Switzerland internships, even in India, it's more of like a five, maybe six month. It's about a semester long experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then here in the US where we had about 190 of the intern roles, it is about a three month summer internship experience that students would do, uh, you know, between their collegiate years, typically. Mm -hmm. So um, it's only a summer internship here in, in the US. US. Yeah. Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. Good to yep. know. But some of the students do stay on. Um, last year, we had about or 40 students who stayed on part time and continued to extend their internship, um, mm -hmm. either working remotely or if they happen to live near a lab, driving into the lab during the school year. So it would okay. be their from job they continued. So we have that, you know, part time opportunity as well. Are your interns all um, in North Carolina? Great question. So they were uh, across the country. Uh, in the U.S., we had interns in uh, Indiana, Madison, Wisconsin. We did have some in both Burlington and Durham, North Carolina, but we had others in Baltimore, Maryland, um, as well as Texas, Ohio, West Virginia. New and are Jersey, those California. are those remote positions or are there? do you have offices there? Oh, oh, we have labs. We yeah. have labs all over. So quite a few of the ones that I mentioned were actually on site in the labs. Mm -hmm. We did have students who were remote in practically every state. Um, but we had such an awesome experience this year. Uh, during our internship program, we had an on site. Uh, it was in three different locations all on the same days. So um, across three locations of lab where we had interns fly in and converge together, nice. uh, they had networking, they did lab tours, we all did philanthropic volunteer event to give back to the community. Um, in every location, we went to a ball game. So here it was the Durham Bulls, but you know, they also went in both Madison and Indiana. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a wonderful time of professional development, speakers, and really for the interns to just spend time with one another, getting to know each other and learning more about the company holistically. Mm -hmm. um, because we have roles that are in IT, corporate, kind of like HR, finance, marketing, as right. well as in the labs, clinical diagnostic, um, in, in the animal science vivarium, mm -hmm. uh, as well as maybe in oncology and research and development. So it's quite the spectrum. It's across the entire enterprise that we mm. provide the early talent opportunities. That's exciting. And you said you have about 190 spaces in the summer? We did, yes. In 2025, we hired 190 interns in the U.S. That's okay. correct. And how many of those do you make an offer to afterwards? Or is that, you know, is that a part of your pipeline? Ooh. Yes, they are a part of our pipeline. That's actually what we are right now <laughs> in September is the time frame where we are looking to see what full-time roles we'll have available. We actually started delivering offers to students this past week. Mm. Um, so our technology offers are the first ones to go out being that tech is so competitive and you have to get offers out immediately. Uh, so that's wow. actually what we're in the midst of doing is the roles that we can convert and build out our future workforce pipeline. Mm. Um, as well as, I didn't mention this, but some of the students uh, are sophomores or even a few were freshmen. So they have the opportunity to come back next summer and spend another summer with us. They wouldn't necessarily be able to come back full time yet because they wouldn't be on the verge of graduation. Right. We had some master's level and even PhD level interns as well uh, for the program too. Um, and some of the students who are part of the program want to continue on with their studies. And even if they're undergrad, they want to pursue that master's. So, um, 
it's also about having a experience where they grow as a person, where they're learning and developing and understanding, you know, what LabCorp has to offer, maybe even sharing that out with their community um, so that others might want to consider this opportunity in the future. But just to point out there, we will have our 2026 intern roles posted within the next two weeks because we are headed out to campus, my favorite time of year. So, so you start be, so early uh, for the summer. Yes, well, that, yes, we do. Well, that's great. Maybe we yeah. can put a link in the show notes uh, to people who are interested in applying. Yes, I would love for them to visit our students' webpage to learn more about the opportunities for sure. Great. I will share that. Jenny, thank you so much. Why don't we pause here and then we will pick it up when you come back for the next episode and we can dive into more details about what you're looking for when you're choosing those coveted internship roles. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.